Patch me in. Yes, my con. All hands, we have completed our jump. Stand by for an announcement from Sakan Sarah Weaver. Centuries ago, our ancestors hurled themselves into the void, hoping to flee a war they knew would come. A war that would end up subjugating all of human space under the boots of the great houses of the inner sphere. Our ancestors' sacrifices became the foundation on which Kerensky's clans were formed. But their dream of one day returning home did not die with them. It lives in all of you, born from blood and steel, to bring their hopes, their dreams, and their legacy back to the inner sphere. Today, our long journey through the Exodus Road has come to an end. Now, we begin the first stage of Operation Revival by laying claim to the outer periphery. We will tame this savage outback to use as our staging ground to bring vengeance down on the tyrants to rule over the inner sphere. And they shall tremble before our might. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we have the start of a progression system. Total honor earned to bring us up to level two. Kerensky's, which I am assuming is our credits, merit, and looks like we unlock camos and stuff as well. Mech lab unlocked. You can now configure your mechs. Marketplace unlocked. Alright, so this is the inside of our command ship. Our four mech warriors. I am assuming this is our missions. Yes, investigation touchdown, so that'll be the next mission we do. Facilities. Mech Bay. The Mech Bay is where you can assign, modify, and repair the mechs under your command. From here, you can enter the Mech Lab to change each mech's omnipods, weapons, and equipment loadouts, weapon groups, and camo patterns. When the mech is damaged, you can assign a number of technicians, a number of the technician cast to repair it. Each technician assigned to your mech will be able to fix an amount of damage for each cycle before the next mission. Through spending merit, you can requisition more technicians and improve the amount they can repair each cycle. Ah, that's a mechanic. I like that. So we have to manage techs. And the more we have, the faster we can repair our mechs. I wonder if this is a management system for making sure that we can't, we just won't always have our mechs repaired at the start of the, the next mission. Right, so these are the mechs that we obviously got in our ransom. So we have a Mist Lynx at 25 tons, a 20, 30 ton rather, Arctic Cheetah. Well, that's interesting, I can't zoom in or turn the mech in the mech bay despite it being on a big turntable there. That's I'm not sure about that, I should be able to just roll in and actually have a look at the mech on this screen. Uh, we have a 40 ton Viper, which I play Jaden, so this is my mech. So what have we got? AMS, machine guns, two medium pulse lasers, and one SRM-4. It's kind of a crap 40 tonner, to be honest. The AMS is good. Arctic Cheetah, ECM, two ER me PPCs, one Flazer, target acquisition gear and LRM5. Two LRM5s rather. And Kit Fox. LB5 X, ER large, small pulse laser, streak SRM4. Kit Foxes are a good little mech. I kinda wish we could go back to the mechs we had during training. <laughs> 
but we'll see what we can get. Actually, marketplace, what can we buy? This is the marketplace where you can requisition mechs, weapons, and equipment from the merchant cast to use in your star. Your merchant requisition budget is tracked using Kerensky. So I was right. Credit is gained by successfully completing missions and secondary objectives. You can also sell back any material you no longer need for credit. When you reach sufficient honor levels, you'll be able to spend your earned merits to unlock access to new mech chassis. All right, so we've got a level before we get access to you, Max. So what do we have access to? Because that's kind of a Arctic Cheetah, Kit Fox, Miss Lynx, and a Viper. So basically what we've already got. Unlock. Adder requires level three. Again, can't zoom in or... Okay, that's unfortunate. Dashi, Direwolf. Level 14, Executioner. It's one that doesn't actually pop up all that often. Gargoyle. Got fond memories of the Gargoyle. It's not a fantastic mech, and it's not one that I liked overall, but the Ghost Bears Legacy Expansion Pack and Mech Warrior 2, you pilot a Gargoyle in the mission where you get sunk to the bottom of the ocean and you actually fight underwater, which is a really cool mission. Uh, Hellbringer. I like Hellbringers. They look good. Mad Dogs. I like the old school Mad Dogs better, the ones that had the uh, the longer weapons pogs at the front. I th think they always look better. Nova, Shadow Cat, Summoner, Summoner's a good mech. Timberwolf, the poster child for the Mech Warrior series, and the Warhawk. So pretty close to the Mech Warrior Two lineup, to be honest. Can't think of much there that's extra or gone. I wonder if that's all the mechs, or whether or not there's more you can get access to later that will light up. Because there's, yeah, none of the, um... The, my favourite clan is Ghost Bear, and there's none of the Ghost Bear mechs in here anyway. So there's no Kodiak, there's no Behemoth. Yeah, so that's not all the mechs clans have, so... I wonder. Well, I guess we'll find out over time. And, yeah, Cell. So, okay, Cell so makes sense. Um, science... Oh yeah, assume it'll be the same thing with your weapons. Yeah, buy weapons. We can afford some of those. We we'll possibly do a refit. But I'm not going to play around with refits just yet. We'll test these mech stock first. And equipment. Beagle active probes. Anti-missile systems and AMS ammo. AMS half ammo. Double heat sinks. EMS, uh, ECM rather. Different armor pads, different ammo. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is just general ammunition and equipment targeting computers. Structural internals. Yes, yeah, a bit of interesting stuff in there. All right, science lab. Research chassis upgrades and chassis milestones. This is a science lab. Here you can task a science cast into researching upgrades for your mechs, armor, structure, weapons, and equipment. At the end of each mission, you'll be able to direct your salvage crews to recover various components from the battlefield. These components are the raw materials scientists need to begin each research project. When the research project has begun, your scientists will automatically work on it while you are deployed on missions, producing the amount of research for each cycle that passes. You can requisition more scientists or upgrade the science lab facilities to increase the amount of research produced. You can also upgrade your salvage operations to be able to claim more components off the battlefield. Okay, so these are improvements to how everything functions. So, 950 research points, of which we have... I'm not sure. And we need 50 equipment, of which we have 5, and 400 mech components, of which we have 5. And we can reduce armor damage reduction by 8%. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of upgrades we can get and apply. Wonder if these are applied to a specific mech or if they're universal overall. So we can't do anything here at the moment, and we can upgrade, okay. 
chassis upgrades. Each copy of the chassis deployed in a mission will earn mech XP for that chassis. Mech XP can be spent here to tune all copies of that chassis, improving their performance on the battlefield. Okay, so the other ones must be generic research across all mechs. This is research specific to individual mech chassis. So we were running the Viper. Acceleration, deceleration, top speed, reverse speed, torso movement. Oh yeah, reverse speed one, torso movement speed one. Okay, so we can get multiple levels of these as we upgrade them. Which we don't have any experience for yet, obviously, but okay, that makes sense. Chassis milestones. Complete milestones with your chassis to get rewards. This is where you can attract the attract the progress of feats performed by the mech chassis you use during the missions. When the feats reach a speci uh, specified milestone, you'll be able to claim the rewards. Okay, so this is similar to the systems from Mech Warrior 5. Again, Viper. Assault mech kills, 1,000 mech XP. Okay, so these are basically achievements for each mech chassis that you can use to gain XP that you can spend on these upgrades. So vehicle kills, turret kills, use this chassis... So number of missions, I would assume, medium mech kills, mech kills in general, light mech kills, heavy assault, and completed milestones. So each time you complete one, you get some. Okay. That makes sense too. Barracks. Here in the barracks, you can manage the mech warriors in your star. The XP they earn from missions can be spent to increase their piloting skills. Upon reaching certain skill levels, the mech warriors will be able to unlock affinities, further increasing their skills when piloting the matching mech. The barracks will also allow you to access the sim pod to virtually replay past missions as well as other training scenarios. Okay, so that's a sim pod and each of our individual crew. So Mia, Mia, skills. Total skill levels 30, melee, evasion, handling, ballistic range and velocity, heat management, and ballistic cooldown. And there's five levels for each, and doesn't appear to scroll for more. Okay, Me melee, evasion, and handling down the side here again, but this time we've got missile range, missile spread, and heat management. So, Mia is our ballistic... She will be our Ballistic Mech Pilot. Naomi here, who is our new ring-in, who we haven't really got any of her story or anything about her so far. I don't think she's even been introduced yet. Um, but she is obviously our Missile Boat Pilot. Ezra. Ezra. Energy, Energy Cooldown, and Ballistic Cooldown. So Ballistic Energy Mix... Iceman over here, electronic warfare, missile cooldown, and lock on time. E war and missiles. And what about us? Energy range, missile cooldown, and ballistic cooldown. So, jack of all trades, master of nothing specific. Oh, we could flip through the top two to go between them. All. Okay. I, I don't mind the uh, the interaction in here, though. Reminds me a little bit of the, the Battletech game. I don't, I don't mind these sort of still areas. Social, okay, yeah, and archives, what we've done. No, no, that's, we are Smoke Jaguar, welcome to Stalker Base, what the future holds. Alright, these are the video clips that we've been going through, cool. And social is to invite friends in. Because yes, there is a multiplayer just like with um, uh, MechWarrior 5 Mercs here, you can bring in four other people to take control of the other players. Looks like you just don't get to, because it's a, a campaign story based thing, you don't get to bring in other mech pilots. This is your crew, this is who you have. Okay. So, that's all done. Notifications. No notifications available. Cool. Let's do a mission. So, investigation. Touchdown. Star Commander Jaden, your star has the distinguished honor of inclusion in the Sakan's bid to take the world of Santander. An independent system on the periphery of the Inner Sphere. Santander has been a known free port, and a pirate's den since the days of the Star League. 
The planet's habitable atmosphere, natural resources, and centuries of accumulated scrap from ill-gotten gains have ensured that, no matter how many times, pirate bands are stamped out, new residents are all too eager to take their place. Its current rulers, Santander's killers, are led by Helmar Valasek, a self-styled pirate king. <laughs> He has accepted our batch all to fight for control of this world. Interesting. I would not think a freeborn bandit would honor our ways. Indeed. He has chosen the Gillard Plains as our battlefield, but has not disclosed his numbers. Documented Dragoon Intel estimates the killers have roughly two battalions of mixed armor and battle mech assets at their disposal. Your star has been temporarily assigned to my Silver Keshek to act as our scouting star for this engagement. Designation? Cobalt. I look forward to seeing what you are capable of, Star Commander. We are honored to be chosen, Sakan. I will not let you down. See that you do not. Ilkhan Showers has ambitions far beyond this one world. We shall see that his will is done. Okay. Investigation touchdown. Cobalt, your first assignment is upon you. We've accepted our bachelor. Sanders days of being a pirate's den are about to come to an end. Systems natural resources will soon be under our possession, but Santana's killers will not just hand over the system willingly, nor have they disclosed the number of forces they plan to employ to oppose us. Assist my shroud, uh, my shroud Keshek as a scouting unit within the Gillard Plains and ascertain the number of forces Valshek has for this engagement. Mission type investigation, 4 kilometers squared, visibility clear, tonnage limit 155 tons, biome desert. Okay. Confirm. Alright, so this is pretty much the standard drop screen from mech 5. 155 of 155, so this mission is set up for these mechs. Even if we had the credits to change that, we couldn't. Right. We're going to be fast, but we're going to be really light. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. So we've got another two screens sitting right in our Get face that actual. have, have nothing down. useful on them. Acknowledged, Cobalt One. Approach the mark coordinates and report any hostile activity. So with how prominent they are, it's ah. almost like they were thinking about doing exactly that, putting, so putting something up on the screen. Is anyone getting readings? Not yet. What do you think? We have no idea what these spheroids are capable of. Ooh, I don't of. like the camo Be on prepared these. for anything. Black, white, and blue in the desert. That is a fantastic camo. Uh, check out weapon slow two. Mediums on one. Oh, uh, machine guns on two. Missiles on three. Melee on five, six. Oh. Um. Visual of the AO, no contacts, but three dropships at Nap Point Alpha, Union class. Are they active? Neg, no fusion reactor activity. Move in and investigate, but proceed with caution. Hostiles may be using the ships as cover. Oh, I don't like this. Scan mode engaged. 
scan mode disengaged. How close that screen is up there. It really does seem like they were thinking about putting stuff up on them. They no really hostiles should. present at the nav point. Commencing scan of dropships. Scan mode engaged. We should be getting some kind of read. Scan Second scan complete. Scanning. Nothing of note found. Still no fusion reactor activity. Could be heavily shielded. Scans received. Heavy shielding confirmed. Star Commander Layla, you and Shroudstar are a go for insertion. F, Jaguar Actual, inbound now. Star Commander Jaden, keep scouting ahead. We are picking up activity at the marked coordinates. Investigate and report back. It will be done. It's interesting, no contractions, but they use AF instead of affirmative. Closing in on our drop point. We have eyes on you, Star Commander. Drop point cleared. AF Cobalt, preparing to drop now. It's nice not to be the only people on the battlefield. Now, these we are, are fire. Down. Layla. Have your elementals breach those dropships and report what you find. Engaged. On it! Scan mode. Austin, Disengaged. set up a perimeter. Watch for hostiles. Guess not. Half. Some tracks through the desert here and some kind of farm or installation. Mining town, maybe? Yeah, mining. Some kind of resource recovery, anyway. Hostile spotted. Engaging. Ah. Nice fix, that. Hostile terminated. Fast enough. 129 kilometers per hour, no mask. Hull's breached. We are inside. The interiors have been stripped completely. Even the reactor cores are gone. Keep us appraised, Star Commander. Yeah, this is definitely a trap. Jaguar actual. We have visual on some kind of outpost. Map looks pretty cool, though. Like and this. armor sentries present. New target. Got another. Target destroyed. Scan the outpost. 
Scanned salvage. Marked for pickup. Scanned salvage. Marked for pickup. Scans complete. Outpost is mostly empty. Some small explosives and shape charges, but nothing of strategic value. I am growing impatient with this Pirate King. Cobalt Star, regroup at our mystery dropships. Aff, moving out. We... Liam took some hits, he's down to 79, Naomi's at 84. Everybody else is 90 or above. Oof. Stravok! Jaguar actual. Taking heavy casualties. Contacts approaching. Jesus. So sorry to keep you waiting. I was finishing my dinner. <laughs> New hostile. Hope you don't mind this little barbecue I had set up. Just for you. Target. Free skunk. Cobalt Star, get in there and assist! Save who you can! Let's get out of the way! Blackjack. Too much damage. Star Commander, protect your clan. Three. Get out of the way. Done. Where'd the helicopter go? Uh, that's definitely getting unbound. Unlucky that he 
you took one. Pirate actually thinks we're uh, Draconis Combine. That means we're up to a boss fight now. Looks like Valisex heavy hitters have taken Rifle the field. Man. Be cautious. Vulcan assassin. We should make quick work of them. Is one Valisex? Dragoon Intel said Valisex pilots a battle master. Only mech that fits that description is at the edge of the AO. <laughs> Hardly any glory in dealing with me. Glory will have to wait. Right now, we need to protect our own. Assassin. That rifleman packs a punch. If its armor's weak, we should focus it down. Attack from the front. Target. That's the rifleman. That was me doing what friendly doing? fire. I am your storming. Reactor breach, punching out. That was my bad. Next terminated. Alright. Target. Ezra. Where are you going, Valasek? We're not done here. Sweetheart, I already got what I came for. You ain't worth any more of my time. Freeborn coward. Star Commander Jaden, you gave those surrats no less than they deserved. Secure its Atlantic zone and sit tight. We will have retribution. I still got nearly 2,000 rounds in the MG after that. How much ammo is this thing carrying for the MGs? Alright, my Viper's okay. Everybody else has critical damage. Alright, let's see how this looks. Ugh. Yeah, the uh, the cheetah's not looking great. Miss Lynx has definitely got some issues. The rest aren't too bad, and the damage is the internals, but all the components appear to be there, except for the Kit Fox. Kit Fox has lost an arm. Alright. I guess we'll see how the repair systems work for this. Alright, so. XP. Completed mission, 500. Survive mission, 250. Kills. Damage dealt for pilot XP. Bonuses for most kills and most damage. And Ezra didn't survive it, so completed mission but doesn't get survived mission. Alright, 
Fair enough. So ideally we want to get everybody home and get them all working hard to maximize their XP. Salvage components. Total mech components claimed, set to 100. Remaining components to claim 35. 100 to 200 on weapons, 100 to 125. We got five of each, so we should take all three for our 300 claim amounts. So this is our salvage system now, I take it. This is our replacement to the Mech 5 Mercenary salvage system. How they're going to handle it with the clans. Alright, facilities. Health to next mission. 87. Okay. So the more techs you put on, the faster it repairs and the shorter that number is. And if you don't have enough techs, you're going to run short. Alright, requisition technicians. They cost 50 a piece, we have 400, we will just spend all of that. So we get 8. Alright, so the miss links first. 3 techs gets it to 100 by next mission. 2 is enough. 3 will get the Viper repaired. Four to get the cheetah going, and three to get... Okay, and now everyone is going to be repaired by the next mission. We've still got three technicians remaining. That's a cool system. This solves the problem of the, um, the Mech Warrior 5, where you, you, know, you try to repair a mech, or refit a mech, or do, it, do something along those lines, and if you weren't in the right location... Even if sometimes, even if you were in the right location, it's going to take six months in game time to refit or repair a Mac. I like this system better. You have to spend, you have to earn a resource in order to expand it, which I imagine they'll get significantly more expensive as things go along and you get into higher tonnage mechs. So you have to spend a resource, and depending on how much you spend, is how much you'll be able to repair and if you just don't have enough you'll have to make choices which means that sometimes your mechs won't be ready and there's nothing you can do about it but you won't be spending ridiculous amounts of time for it okay so that works we can what it takes to upgrade uh, we need more we need more to upgrade okay that's cool that's cool uh, barracks, we would have XP now, so we'll start over here on the left. It's got 860. Evasion's probably the first most important one, increases the chance of evading enemy attacks. Handling increases turning speed. Missile cooldown, lock on time. Probably that one. We're going to have to be picky about what mechs we give to what people here so they can take advantage of it. Alright. Jaden. So my character. Well, I'm using energy weapons at the moment. And a little bit in the way of ballistics. 1320. I'd be tempted just to go for evasion. This is the range of energy weapons. Decreases the cooldown time to fire ballistic weapons. So the MGs will fire faster. At the moment, that's probably more useful. Take those two. 610. So Ezra is the one that didn't survive a past the mission, so he'll have the lowest points. But he's still got enough to get one of the good ones. I'm assuming he's going to have energy weapons on board, so we'll change the cooldown for him. Thousand neat. We can go melee, but the melee seems kind of pointless. Decreases spread, increases range, 
increases the heat. Uh, heat uh, decreases the maximum heat. Go spread. Although I don't even know if you've got missiles on your current mech. Mia. Ballistic range and velocity. Heat management. Heat management's always a safe one. Okay. So we've got our first upgrades. There's not much else we can do. Ah, hang on. Yes, there is. Research. All right, we have some mech parts now. 132, 162, and 150. What can we get that's of use? ER laser heat. 250 research points to complete. Who wants 150 weapons components for ER? Flamer, gauze, jump jets, LBX, LRM heat, mask, pulse lasers, sensor range. That's always a good one. Plus 5% sensor range. SRM cooldown. I do like my SRMs. SRM damage. Plus 5% damage. Negative 5% cooldown. Plus 5% range. SRM spread. Negative 5% spread. Weapon 150. Yeah, we'll do SRMs for starters. Because we're all likely to use those for a little bit. Now, what else? These will be using mech components. Sensor range. We'll do that one. What's the last one going to be? Mech components will be for down... Nope. No, just up here. Jump jet heat, jump jet research time. Alright. Well, we'll leave that as is. And I don't think we'll have anything else yet. So, 700. So we can actually get some upgrades here too. Alright, so we've got a bit to actually do in this in between missions. Okay. Acceleration, deceleration, top speed, reverse speed, torso movement, torso angle, turn speed. Alright, so this is on the Arctic Cheetah. Kit Fox has got 400 on it at the moment. Probably did the same one on all of them, to be honest. Acceleration and deceleration. Cheetah got a lot. Alright, cool. Alright, mission control. Pirates Bay, assault. Filthy coward. I have purged my share of bandits back at home. But none would have ever dared destroy a dropship, let alone three. Just shows how much the inner sphere has descended into barbarism during our exile. Well, we will return the favor in full. This is Valisek's base of operations. Wolf's Dragoons orbitally surveyed it after their Black Widow company clashed with Santander's killers on Thule. After what that free birth did to us, there will be no half measures. We will initiate a frontal assault on this facility and put down any pirates found. Cobalt Star, I want you to scout the approach to the facility and clear us a path. After what we just saw, I want you to be on the lookout for any explosives or IEDs on the approach. Once a path is clear, I need you to find a way to open this outer gate. There is likely some form of control tower close by. From there, I will link up with you and we will bring vengeance down on Valisex home. Star Commander Jaden, is everything clear? 
Afsicon. Good. Before you dust off, be sure to visit your mech bay. Leverage your assigned techs to make sure that you repair as much as you can before your next deployment. This invasion waits for no one. So make the most out of the time you are given. Yep, already done that. Right, filthy cowards will pay for what they have done. It's clear that savagery and barbarism have reigned across the uh, Santana for too long. I want these rats purged, no half measures. Basically exactly what was said in here. Same area, 4 square kilometers, visibility clear, 165 ton limit. So we've got a slight increase on the tonnage, although I didn't change max any. I probably should look into that. So alright, we will go with this. All mechs clear and repaired. Not sure what I replace. Probably the Arctic Cheetah. But we've got two of those. I like the Kit Fox, although it is light. Maybe the Mislinks? I don't know. We will have to replace some soon. Cobalt, we gave Velisek the benefit of the doubt when we challenged him to a patrol, and the rat chose to spit in our face. This Desgra action could not go unpunished. You will show him and his kind no mercy. Clear me a path to his base, then together we will purge the pirate filth from this world. It will be our honor to do so, Shroud One. Star Colonel Wimmer, you have operational command in my absence. Understood, my con. The 362nd will not let you down. Cobalt is on site, advancing on the objective. Remember, the priority is to clear a path and get that main door open. Do not try and do anything stupid. Me? Do something stupid? No. Cobalt, use your scanners to find any surprises left by Valisek. Ooh, Disable okay. all you come across. You should consider delegating tasks to your star mates if you perform the scans yourself. Scanning complete. Scanning complete. Sure, what I would delegate. Scanning complete. They march with me. Scanning complete. We shoot things. They pop out of scanner mode if I need to. So what's the range? Two hundred meters. Cobalt, killer forces dead ahead of your position. Make these freeborns pay for the lives they took on the Gillard Plains. Spare no one. With pleasure. How many more of these things are there? This seems to be the last for now. But be sure to scan the terrain periodically. The last thing we need is any more surprises. Destroy. Fix that. I will fix that after this mission. I have three helos down. Ah, we are moving in. Target. 
destroyed. Target Enemy neutralized. Destroyed. Target destroyed. New target. Scan mode engaged. Scan mode disengaged. Target destroyed. Target Got one. The AI has got decent target priority at the very least. Must have been stragglers. No telling what waits for us behind that gate. Hopefully, no more surprises. Don't know about that, Ez. Seems like these killers are full of them. One hundred and seventy. I need to be within two hundred to disable that. Hey, I picked that up pretty fast. Disengaged. Scanned salvage. Marked for pickup. Scan mode. Disengaged. New target. We have a visual on the main door. Good. Shroud one, you are clear to move up. Aff, Jaguar base, en route now. New Cobalt one, we have further examined the Dragoon scans and found a weakness in his defenses. Head east of the gate up the hill. You will eventually hit an airfield they use. You might find a way around that gate. Destroyed. Roger, Jaguar base, heading there now. Destroyed. Got another. Target destroyed. New target. Target destroyed. Head east. I have to guess it's this way. What is that supposed to be? that I was already heading in. Hmm. That still destroys like the MacWarrior 5. Things just sort of fall apart. anything I walked through the hole one that I didn't make on the star commander's target another one down acquired target Herbie I am your star mate not the enemy don't walk between me and my damn guns target 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 down Still detected. Panther. Panther. One enemy back down. Yeah, I mean, 
he's taken too many hits. We are following. Salvage options. See anything in the way of bombs or the rest here. At the airfield. Union dropship and a handful of defenders there. on site. Wait. Jaguar base, the Union is taking off. No time to intercept. It will not get far. Scrambling aerospace fighters now. Cobalt, focus on the ground forces. One of them may have a key to the front gate. Yeah, whatever Naomi's driving is what needs to be swapped out. She's in the kit fox. It's gonna have to be the kit fox, it's just too soft. It's yeah, fifteen percent health lower than everybody else's average at the moment. Yeah, sorry, you could just walk through the, the giant gaping hole in the fence that we just wandered through because it was there. Doors open, Cobalt. Shroud Actual will be on site shortly. Okay, I think we found the gate tower. Inputting codes now. Scan mode disengaged. Some decent verticality on this map. Didn't realize I'd caught, like, gone up this high. Oh shit, that's a big drop. That's a big drop. That's a big drop. Alright. I was worried I was gonna break something then. Scan mode engaged. Ah. I have to. 
Enter. Shroud actual. Codes inputted. Confirmed. Doors opening. Form up on me. We see you, Shroud. That is an ugly Good. camo on a Timberwolf. Move up and clear any mech hangers. Leave the caves and towers to the elementals. Got it. We are moving in. Back up. Enemy mechs eliminated. So I doubt we're going to be short of firepower. Shroud, Cobalt. We have a hangar opening on the other side of the airfield. Multiple mechs and armor being deployed. Is Valisek with them? Unknown. I read a single assault mech, but I'm unable to make out a designation. Roger. Moving to intercept. Cobalt. Watch our play. I have the vanguard. What are you doing, Spider? Lead Mac appears to be a modified charger. Modified? Aff. Some kind of melee weapon augmentation. Oh, it's an axe mech. How primitive. After all these centuries, they really have fallen back into the dark ages. Clans don't have dedicated melee weapons on their mechs. Lost one of my components. Jaguar base, perimeter secure. No sign of Valisek or the rest of the killers. What is the sit rep on that Union? It was a diversion. The Union stood down when our airspace fighters approached it. Only a skeleton crew on board. No Valisek. Freeborn. Cowards. Star Colonel Wimmer, Cobalt and I are heading in. I expect you to have some answers for us by the time we return. Understood, Sakan. Dun dun dun. All right, mission success. Critical damage on only three mechs this time. One of them mine. The Arctic Cheaters did okay. How is the damage looking? Uh, Miss Lynx, Lynx is Cactus. As is the Kit Fox. Yeah, we're going to have to replace the Kit Fox. Kit Fox and Miss Lynx have to be the first ones to go. Completed mission... These two got... I didn't even realise they got knocked out. Alright, well, three of us survived. 
hundred of each. Yeah, I'll take all of that and I'll let that start stacking up. I want a status report on what the hell happened here. Now! Yes, Sakan. After securing the killer's base, we discovered that Valasek and his band of freeborn rats opted to rig numerous explosive devices and flee into Santander's wilds rather than face us in battle. Do we have any leads on where Valasek is hiding? We do. Although... It will be impossible for the 362nd to follow every lead at once. Assign the most promising leads to each of your unit commanders. Cast as wide a net as possible. Every hour this Valisek denies us our conquest, it risks giving our rival clans a head start in our race toward Terra. Ilkhan Showers expects this to be resolved in a timely manner. Prove to him that his faith is not misguided. Yes, Sakai. Right, on a level three, new chassis, Adder, camo pattern awarded Buccaneer, 575 merits and 1.5 million Kerenskis. Alright, unread notifications, what are our notifications? New mech chassis available, research complete, SRM damage research is done. Cool, alright. Facilities for a start. We want to repair everything. Start off with our main mechs. Takes three. Arctic Cheetah only needs the one. Three and four to get the Kid Fox up. Cool. Chassis Milestones, Arctic Cheetah has gotten the Vehicle Kill Award, 1815 experience, So we can actually get some chassis upgrades with that. Plus six percent, we can get that to plus nine. Go for a wider torso angle as well. up to three, up to three, and up to three. So the Arctic, well I suppose the Arctic Cheetah, we've got two of them in our lineup, so it's earning XP at twice the rate of anything else. So that's actually probably a reason to actually run multiple of the same chassis all at once, if we can. Um, we've already got research queued up that'll last through the next mission, so that's fine. Marketplace. Battle mechs, we want to unlock 175. A 35 ton adder. That's all we're going to have access to. We need level 3, we need level 4 to get access to the Shadow Cat. 6 is a good one. Storm Crows would be great. Multiple Storm Crows would be fantastic, in fact. Although Shadow Cat is not a bad mech. I will grab... An adder has been added to your inventory. Additional purchase price 1.4. Confirm. Alright, so we unlock the first one using the requisition. And then if we want to buy more, we have to pay. T 
two EAP PC, one flamer. Miss Links, You know what? I'm going to buy two. And in our mech bay, assign mechs. Put adders or pumas into both Naomi and Liam. Uh, 35, 30, and I'm on 40. So the Arctic Cheetahs are now the lightest mechs we've got. 170 drop tonnage. Hopefully, hopefully that's not too expensive. I will have to go through and have a sort out. So Naomi, I believe, was missiles. So she may not be appropriate for an adder, but we'll run that for the moment anyway. Just because they're a better mech. And I will tune up the mechs that we're running later. That'll also level faster because we're running two on two. Alright, so that'll just about do it. Alright ladies and gents, I'm going to bring this one to a close here and we'll pick up the next mission at the start of the next video. Hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching and uh, until next time, take care.